Dear friends, welcome to my channel Education and Career Success. Dear friends, in this video we are going to talk how to use since and for. Since and for, the two most important prepositions to use the time expression. But unknowingly, we use since in place of for, for in place of since. The preposition for used to express period of time, duration of time, how long, for two seconds, for two minutes, for two hours, for two days, for two weeks, for two months, for two years, for twenty years, for two centuries, for long time, for many years. Dear friends, the preposition for can be used with any tense, present tense, past tense, future tense. Take a look at these examples. I live here for two days. It is present simple tense. I am living here for two days. It is present continuous tense. I have lived here for two days. It is present perfect tense. I have been living here for two days. It is present perfect continuous tense. I lived here for two days. It is past simple tense. I was living here for two days. It is past continuous tense. I had lived here for two days. It is past perfect tense. I had been living here for two days. It is past perfect continuous tense. I will live here for two days. It is future simple tense. I will be living here for two days. It is future continuous tense. I will have lived here for two days. It is future perfect tense. I will have been living here for two days. It is future perfect continuous tense. Preposition for can be used with any tense. On the other hand, since is Use it express point of time, the exact time, date, week, month and event. Since 2 o'clock, since 3 o'clock, since 17th, since Monday, since Tuesday, since January, since February, since 1947. Since 2011, since independence, since her birth, since he left the school, since childhood, since he came to Italy, since can be used with exact time, exact week, exact date, exact event. Dear friends, the main difference between for and since is for can be used with any tense, but since he is used with only perfect tenses. If you want to emphasize duration of time, length of time, use for. If you want to emphasize starting point, use since. Take a look at these examples. She has been on diet for two weeks. Here, two weeks is a duration of time. She has been on diet since last week. Here last week is a starting point of time. In order to emphasize starting point of time, use since before the names of dates, weeks, months, year and event. Hope you understand the difference between since and for. Now try these exercises. It has rained 5 days without stopping. Number two, it has been raining last month. Number three, she has been talking over phone 
3 weeks number 4 she has been ill long time number 5 she has not come here she returned from italy number 6 the canteen has been opened last month Seven, he worked there several years. Eight, she has been raising her birth. Nine. She has not spoken to me. Yes. Ten. She has not eaten anything. Morning. Eleven. She will not come to office. Two days. Twelve. I have not seen you, college. Thirteen. The shop has been closed last month. Fourteen, they have been on vacation for a short period of time. Fifteen, it has been heavy rains. The beginning of August. Sixteen, they have been staying in the city. She was born. Seventeen, she has taught at this college two years. Eighteen, she has not worked on that computer. She bought it. Nineteen, she has known to me. She was five years old. I have known her long time. Twenty-one. He has not come to the office three days. Twenty-two. She has not cleaned the fridge two months. Twenty-three. She has not fed the dog 
morning. Complete these exercises with sense and for. Thank you. Happy learning.